Today we're going to make a cutlery roll for our forks, knives, spoons, and napkins even. We'll add a ribbon to it. It can roll up and you can take it camping or on a picnic or a road trip or just for around the house. We need two pieces of fabric. We need a main fabric that'll be the outside and we need a lining fabric. Both of those fabrics will be cut 14 inches by 18 inches. We also need a piece of batting 14 inches by 18 inches. We need a piece of ribbon 28 inches long and we need just a little piece of double fold bias tape. I've cut mine 14 inches. Our first step is to put our fabrics right sides together. So I have my main fabric, my lining fabric, right sides together. I'm going to add my batting on top of this. We're making a little sandwich. All right, I'm going to stitch all the way around this. I'm going to leave one entire side open for turning. This is the 14 inch side. And I'm going to go ahead and stitch a quarter inch seam all the way around the other three sides. Now that I've stitched that, I'm going to clip the corners. Corners are clipped. Now I'm going to turn it right side out. All right, I turned that right side out. I've gone ahead and pressed it too. Now we need to close this side here, this open one. The way we're going to do it is we're going to use this right here. So what I want to do is I want my outside fabric showing. And I'm just going to pop it right over the edge. And I'm going to do a straight stitch to attach it all the way across that open end. All right, I had just a little bit extra because of our seam allowance, so I went ahead and clipped that off. Now what we need to do is go ahead and fold this into uh, what it's going to eventually look like. So I want my lining facing up. Now this is our, our uh, part that we're going to be actually folding up to make a pocket. So we want to go up six inches. This is my six inch mark right here. You can trace it if you'd like, or you can just eye it, which is what I'm doing, because if it's six, six and a half, it really doesn't matter. I'm going to fold it those six inches. I'm going to make sure my seams are even on the side. And I'm going to stitch all the way around this, a top stitch. It'll, it'll hold this together and it'll kind of make that look a little fancier too. So let's go ahead and do that next. Okay, that's been top stitched. I did between a quarter of an inch and eighth of an inch. Our next step is to grab some of our cutlery just to see what size of pockets we need. So if you have uh, several, say, forks, for example, you won't want to go right up just as tight as can be. You need some space for that. So some pieces have a wider handle and will need some more space in between uh, the pockets, and some are more narrow that won't need as much space. A, a good guide is about two and a half inches in, and mark yourself a straight line and then go ahead and stitch up that line. Then move over another two and a half inches, two and a half inches. What you will wanna make sure is you have your space for your napkin on the end, one of the end in the middle, whatever, up to you. If you have a certain size napkin you use, you might wanna go ahead and place that on there. And go ahead and make sure you leave a stitch, draw a stitch line for that. What we're gonna do is just take our stitches up in between to make some pockets every about two and a half inches and then our space for our napkins. All right, so I have that stitching done. All right, next thing we need to do is put our ribbon on so it can roll up and tie. So now we're ready to add our ribbon. Fold your ribbon in half to find the midpoint and then we're gonna place it right on the outside here, just in the midpoint of this too. So uh, when you have the midpoint, just go ahead and stitch it here and stitch it over, go back and forth a few times so it's very secure. Okay, I have the ribbon attached. Let's roll her up. You can make these to hold entire sets of your cutlery or you can make one per person. Of course, you can use plastic. I just happen to not have plastic with me right now. Okay, and you just roll it on up and tie her off and you have your cutlery roll. If you'd like to make sure nothing's poking out the top, like knives, you can go ahead and fold it down and then roll it.